Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of GeoGuessr. Sorry for the noises I'm making, but I had it bug out on me once already. Because it did that photo thing where, it just, if you saw in a previous video, there was a bug. It did it again to me. And the punishing nature of GeoGuessr these past couple of rounds, I said, nah, we're not, we're not having that. So, here we are. You know the rules. Five rounds, four minutes. Let's start the challenge. And... Let's see where we are. Um, I want to thank the person, I don't have your name in front of me right now, for the uh, clarification on that story I told in the previous GeoGuessr episode, where we talked about the... Um, it ended up, his name was False Dimitri. Um, and if you don't know, if you want to know, don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go listen to the last episode. And if you haven't been sold yet on Russian history, just to let you know that there were a total of three False Dimitris, which is just amazing. I love that idea that this happened a total of three times. I don't think the other two were successful in any way, but, you know, to have the balls to have that happen. Oh, this I heard about the story about this guy who did it before me. I'm going to do it again. And then a guy tried it a third time because it was so successful the first time. Why not give it a shot? And I mentioned in the comment in that that, you know, that's one of the two best that's a scared puppy it looks like one of the two best russian history stories that i know the other one of course everyone knows about rasputin but do you know the real story of rasputin i mean it's not that far off from probably what you know um i mean if you knew about his the the the, the christian sect i believe he belonged to from what i remember it's been a while um he didn't bathe like, it, it didn't bathe that much. It was very infrequent. And he also believed that you guys should have sex with as many people as many times as possible to get you closer to God, I believe. And a lot of people are like, Why did, how did this crazy man become such a big fan of the family? And it's, it's understandable when you know the context that the Tsar and Tsarina. And uh, to, to start off, just know that just because, you know, there was very uh, selective who the who you're going to marry as royalty, there was some severe uh, inbreeding that did happen. Um, I believe this both... Uh, God, what are the names? Alexander and... Fuck, I, uh, it's been a while. I just to call them the king and queen just because I don't want to go Tsar and Tsarina, even though that's not many more syllables. Uh, I think they were both related to the Queen of England. I think that she was their aunt but you know the Habsburgs and the uh fuck not the Capulus that's fucking Romeo and Juliet there was there there's two like major families that were responsible for the Tudors and the Habsburgs were the two major families that were in a lot of uh heads of state during a lot of the medieval times in up to about the revolutions that happened in the 19th century and World War One. They, those two families kind of ran a lot of the countries in Europe. It's pretty interesting how they did it. But anyway, there's a long history of a lot of mental illness also in Russia alone. But they're, one of their kids, the prince, was a hemophiliac, which means that this blood can never clot. Um, they tried. There was two really bad scares, if I can remember exactly. It was in, I, I have no idea. I'm just sticking with this because fuck. I mean, it's Russia. I don't know. I'm either going to be close or I'm going to be way off. So I'm just clicking there. It doesn't matter. Um, so they brought in doctors. Doctors tried everything multiple times. And on multiple occasions, they, they told the, the family, listen, he's going to die. There's nothing we can do. We'll just try to treat his pain. And then this random peasant, uh, sh Christian shaman, I guess you could call him out of the uh, Siberian wastes, comes along and cures him, cures the child multiple times. And if you just take the perspective of the family, let's see how far off I was at. Okay, whatever, fine, no stars. And if you happen to be that family, and like, listen, we went through all these things, we tried everything, nothing worked. But this guy comes along, and lo and behold, he fixes the kid. Is that carbon fiber hood, or are you just painting it that way? Um, he he fixed the kid, what do you want me to do? He this is, He's done something that none of the other doctors could do. Of course we're going to try to, like... We believe in him and his treatments because it's worked. Uh, 
what are we? This is probably Brazil again. And I really feel like I should start getting a drinking game going for GeoGuessr now. Although you will not notice the effects unless for some other goddamn reason the, uh, the, the, I get another bugged video. You really won't notice the effects of me having to take the shots whenever I get Brazil or whenever I get, um, oh, well, I was in Brazil. What is Rock Rockford Fosgate, man? I feel like that's taking me back to high school. <laughs> that shit. Well, that tells me exactly where we are. Thank you for not being Brazil. But I think maybe I should institute a drinking game where... Um, number one, Russia, take a shot. Number two, um, if it's Brazil, take a shot. If it's horrible, grainy picture, take a shot. If it's... Um, I don't know, middle of nowhere forest? Take a shot. Uh, I'm running out of other ideas here, but that, that should cover the basis of just how GeoGuessr seems to work. I don't know if I'm gonna actually going to get the town of this. Orlando Zambrano does not help me. There's not... Well, there's enough in Ecuador that this could be. Um, I'll just kind of put it here, because it could be any of these. Hopefully I can see a name of some sort. And it can help me. Well, Frank Andre will not help me. Universal healthcare, maybe? No. Cruz Azul? What do we got? Sometimes they'll say these things. Oh, this gynecologist. Nothing here. I'm learning I'm learning Spanish here. Look at that. Lubra Martis. Petro Commercial. It's just a, 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 a adorable. Um, business names like uh, Petrochemical, Mitsubishi, Heavy Industries, you know. There's no hiding what they are. They're not, they're just like, yeah, we build giant fucking machines. We're not hiding from it. Come on, tell me. Tell me some things here. Are these comic books? Or is it just magazines? Or is it porn? They sell porn in the street. Well, good for them, I guess. What is this? Bamboo up top. Businesses in the bottom. Their houses up on top. And then all these wires that I would just be scared of. For no reason. I just parent make me paranoid that like I could just look at it and it'll just sort short circuit and fall on me and I'd die. Oh, uh, this is Um I did see this a lot. Well, these probably aren't it. Where that's probably just a bar, but I thought it was like a betting place for soccer. No, this is clearly just a bar. Look at that built-in stools. They're all weathered. You hang out in the street. This looks cool. You got some indoor seating there. Boogie boogie. This is a fan. I want to look at this fan. I mean, I got Ecuador. I'm not going to find out anything more than that, but this guy is speeding away. It's funeral stuff? Alright. Oh, we're near, uh, what was this? Chona. Or, or Chone, whatever. I'll give you... Because you're not one of those ones, I'll give you the points. Let's see, am I taking... Am I, am I taking a drink here? No, nope, Definitely not. I am happy that this feels to be... Indochina. But which one? I have to look at the handwriting. And I feel that this is Thailand. Or it could be Cambodia. You kind of have to look at the way the... My apologies for calling them wind, wingdings, but... What else? I don't know the difference. Like, this feels more blocky. And this is more... Um, I guess normal compared to the italicized squiggles. So I'm going to put it there. And uh, maybe see if we can't see anything else that'll help me here. Let me move up a bit. This is... Um, weight limits for trucks on this road. If it's following the same logic that English... Um, or American style roads. This doesn't help me because it is not in English. Get me on the highway. Can we see... A little farther. I just want to look at these signs. 
because I think it's... I don't think any of it's... Yeah, none of this is in English. So it doesn't feel like it's a close enough... Yep. We're not anywhere near something that tourists would be, or these guys just don't give a fuck. But if it... This is a nice house. Look at that. Nice garden. It's well kept. Nice house. It's nice. I like it. Um, can we get anything here? Well, that's Buddhist, I believe. Pardon me if it's not, but it looks Buddhist because I'm just a simple American. Go up the road. Maybe find some more signs. Well, that is the... I believe Thailand flag. I'm feeling stupid that this very well could be Cambodia. But I feel this is Thailand. Thailand's kind of a long country. And I see some mountains, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put us like here. We're on a highway of some sort here, so I don't know if I was more confident in my flag identification for this part of the world, it would be a locked up bang up job, but again I'm I'm just not that confident anymore. It's like I feel like that's definitely now I feel like that could be Cambodia. No, Thailand is... Indonesia is the one that's inverted Poland. Alright, so Cambodia has... Um, it needs to be an unfurled flag a bit more, and I don't think I'm going to find one in the meantime. We got some nice houses here, though, it looks like. I'm assuming that's a house. I don't, I, I don't know. This is probably just saying turn. No, it's just... There's a median. It's a Honda. This Honda is on our ass. Um, where'd you go? No. Oh, you're already up here? Uh, no idea what you are. You're not helping. Can I get a URL? It's, it's not good enough. Alright. Why can't I think of what this country's flag is? I had this problem before. I definitely know it. Yeah, here it is again. It's it's clearly here. I just can't think of what it is. So again, I'm gonna Cambodia. I did it. Uh, I was right the first time. Fucking all right. The other time, whenever I outthink myself. I'm going to take a drink. Because <laughs> that happens a lot too. All of it cannot be blamed upon the map itself. Sometimes it's me too. Um, no outlet, that probably says. Yep. So, is this... Hawaii? I mean, I don't... I don't... It doesn't feel like Florida. This feels like vacation homes on the ocean. Could it be the Keys? No, it's too mountainous, so it's got to be Hawaii. I feel that this is... Yeah, no aloha. This is Hawaii. Um, I couldn't tell you which one. It's got a lot of mountains, so we'll just say we're on the island of Hawaii. I'm not... I, I, I won't... Try it. Well, actually, no, we're going to keep going until we find some more information. If we do, I don't know why I looked at this and it didn't say Florida to me. Maybe it's because of the mountains, because I don't think anything in Florida is this high. But um, I also remember somebody told me, I think it was uh, my science teacher in seventh grade. This always stuck with me that apparently the Pacific Ocean is higher than the Atlantic Ocean. And when they actually meet on the southern tip of South America, it's real nasty waves. And I believe that they've adjusted the elevation height to normalize it between east and west on the Rocky Mountains, where if you were straddling the peaks of the Rocky Mountain, one side of your body is technically 11 feet taller than the other one, just to normalize elevation, I guess. I mean, I never actually did any research to find out if this was true. I just took his word for it. But uh, it kind of makes sense that, like, yeah, we'd probably want to normalize this in some way. 
Like if it didn't, if that didn't say Aloha, this also very well could have been Puerto Rico. If it didn't say Kame Kame, Kame Kame Ha, whatever, Kame Kame Ka, I, it's a fucking Dragon Ball ruined it. Even though I never watched Dragon Ball because I thought it was the general cliche everyone has about the show of nothing happens for ten episodes. Hey everyone, if you liked it, good on you. I didn't. I got real into what was it, Evangelion? I don't know. I just really enjoy the story of that. I haven't watched any of the new stuff, so I have no idea. Like when uh, that new lady they put on there didn't. I haven't watched it ever since uh, he got a like a budget again to actually make the show the way he wanted wanted to originally, but then wasn't able to because. During the last episode, they literally ran out of money, and if you watched it, everything was a scroll because they couldn't afford anything else. Um, so they made do, and it, th there's something to be said for limitations actually helping the creative process. Whereas if you have all the money in the world and nobody telling you no, it just ends up with a bloated, ruined um, mess of a movie, which you could say about all the... Episode 1, 2, and 3 of Star Wars, where George Lucas didn't have people on him telling him no. I'm, I'm going to stick with this island here, because, I mean, I, I got no idea, honestly. Because I've not been to this state. But what was that ramble all about? I mean, if you haven't watched the, th the, the exhaustive review that's pretty well thought out of the uh, Red Letter Media thing, it's just as long as the movies. There's some... It's pretty. There's some good examples that he puts into it. It's well thought out, and it's it's a good. Even if you disagree with it, it's still. Well, I guess we were on Molokai. All right, whatever. It's still a good um, thing to listen to, and well, uh, it's like I understand your points. I'm listening to it. Well, Daytona Beach is. We are heading. We're on fifty. Where is 50? Are they going? Well, it's 55 miles to Daytona Beach. Um, this is on Route 50, but I don't know which one is 50. Oh, well, Route 50 is in 3, so I'm going to follow this to the exit. And then see what this highway is, and that'll help me. But... Um, yeah, it's real tough to say what's the best way, well, we're on 407 for the Kennedy Space Center, it's it's hard to say what's the best way of making a movie, because there, there's good examples of everything, nothing, like, there's no definitive way, which you could honestly say about everything, just because it, it worked for one person one way, it's not going to work the same way for everyone else, so, Kennedy Space Center, Orlando. Well, we got we we've narrowed it down between um, Daytona Beach and here, so we're here somewhere, but we're farther. I'm gonna put us like here, although that's the wrong highway or route, whatever you want to call it. It's the 407. I'm not seeing 407 anywhere here, which is disappointing me. But I, I'm trying to stay focused on this and also continue babbling about other silly stuff. Well, I'm going to click before I forget, because this clearly seems to be the only route between the two. But I'm, I'm probably wrong. Um, but it, you could also say the same thing about what one man's or one company or movie's success does not always translate into other people as well. Because... Um, it worked well for like one movie guy. It worked well for one game. Doesn't mean that you should copy the style and assume that it's going to work for you. Like uh, the the new trend now of since how hugely popular uh, Player Unknown's Battleground was or is, however you want to look at it now, you're gonna see in a very short amount of time everyone else being like, "Well, it works so good for them. Make a game real quick." And the the, the first one that had any real success that uh came out first was um, Fortnite's Battlegrounds, which was really silly because the extra Titusville, the previous, the actual um, Fortnite, when compared to 
the fuck is Titusville? Compared to the original, what Fortnite was, it's there, there's no PvP stuff. They're just like, we made this thing, and we made it in-house, and uh, we thought people would like it, so here, just play it for free. And it's it's now like surpassed player unknowns for the amount of people I think playing it. Titusville in Orlando. Where the fuck is Titusville? It's got to be right next to Orlando, doesn't it? Pine Castle. I'm going to put us here. Um, Titusville. Find me Titusville. Well, there's Tildenville. I feel like I should have nailed this, but for some reason I'm not finding Route 50. Where are you? 5A, 5A, 40, 40, 44, 46. Like, I was way off. I was way off, apparently. That's the 40. Fuck, it, it, it was right there. Huh. Well, all right. I probably should have just stayed on that highway before, but whatever. I'll give that four stars because there were signs and I knew what to look for. Oh, that was a good comeback. Except for that one, but hey. That was a slog. Um, I got lucky with that because I saw the fucking license plate. But hey, that's how it happens. I'm happy with this 2000 score. Uh, give myself a stretch and a bend and dip my co in jacuzzi, baby. Uh, this, this ending has just kind of flopped around and done nothing, but whatever. I'd like to thank you all for watching this. And if you did enjoy this, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check out the other stuff we have on the channel right now. Me and Evo are fighting our way through uh, Rome Total War. Um, we're very shortly coming up to our year anniversary on the channel. And we got some ideas for everyone. Uh, stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I uh, hope you guys have a good day. And we will see you next time.